Welcome back to another video. Today we have something new. Here we have the Sea Reader Elite Toyota. It's a scan tool that is made by Launch. It's a bi-directional scan tool, meaning you can perform special tests and functions specifically for Toyota and Lexus. Okay, in the back of the box, you see the parameters for those who are interested and a brief description. Okay, so I went ahead and opened it up. It comes with a quick start guide, a user manual. In the box, we have the scan tool. It's a pretty heavy duty OBD cable. And it also comes with a USB cable as well so that you can plug it into your scan tool. You do plug it in right there and it also comes with a slot for a memory card in case you need to record more information. Right, let's go ahead and close it up and put this bad boy to the test. Got some cards I want to test it out on. So before I use this tool, I'm going to go ahead and remove this cover on the connector. I'm going to go ahead and inspect it, make sure there's no damage to the pins, that they're not bent, and everything seems in order. So let's go ahead and give this a test run. The two vehicles that we're going to go ahead and be testing our scan tool on, we have the LS430 and we also have a GS350. Let's see if our scan tool is capable of performing these functions. Okay, let's go ahead and hook up our scan tool. Find your OBD port and hook it up. Okay, so since this is the first time using the scan tool, I believe I gotta set it up. Let it load. Welcome to Use Creator Elite Toyota. Let's go ahead and click start. Okay, so like most setups, go ahead and select the language you prefer. Select your time zone as well. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that big bad Los Angeles. And then if you have Wi-Fi, go ahead and hook up your Wi-Fi as well. Scroll down to user agreements to all the terms above yes hit ok and it looks like this takes you to the home screen i got some upgrades i gotta do let me go ahead and click that okay so it looks like i gotta update all the softwares onto the scan tool go ahead and update it waiting for downloads a few moments later okay so that only took a few minutes but the software was successfully installed go ahead and click ok Okay, so that took us to the Diagnose menu. Let's go ahead and select our vehicle. As soon as I hit Lexus, it takes me to this. Click OK and let it do its thing while it's connecting. Okay, so here it's asking me to make a selection on the data link connector. Um, this is a 16 pin data link connector, so I went ahead and selected that. Here I am waiting for the scan tool to communicate. Let it do its thing. Okay, now it's reading the VIN with smart key let's verify all this information is correct yes it is notice if the communication abnormally occurs during the test please ensure whether the vehicle is equipped with other parts hit ok now let's do the scan on the vehicle okay so that brings us to the show menu and something interesting i see right off the bat is the health report let's go ahead and perform that uh, now this is something a lot of advanced scan tools refer to as either a health check or a all system data scan and basically what it does is the scan tool connects to every single module the vehicle is equipped with and here you can read any information stored within those modules like fault codes free screen data and right off the bat that's an indication to me that since this scan tool is able to connect to all the modules within the vehicle that it must be able to perform all the functions and special tests within those modules. That's very impressive for a handheld scan tool like this. This shows me that it has the capabilities of an advanced scan tool, even like the one we use at the dealership. Okay, so the health check took a few minutes and you can see these are the trouble codes that are stored within the modules. Now I have already done some repairs to address these diagnostic trouble codes. You can see the check VSC light is on and the VSC is off. VSC stands for Vehicle Stability Control. Now this is the related trouble code, C1336, zero point calibration of deceleration sensor undone. I have already performed the repairs to address this issue, I'll post that in another video. Let's go ahead and calibrate these sensors. Okay, so it says use this function after replacing the skid control ECU and yaw rate sensor. Okay, but it also says this function is used to calibrate the zero point. Go ahead and hit OK. 
just another reminder. Press OK to proceed. And here this leads us to the conditions a vehicle needs to be in before you perform this calibration. Make sure all of those are met. Okay, next click OK. Wait a few seconds. Okay, then it says keep the vehicle stationary for a few seconds. And then let's go ahead and um, click OK to proceed. Okay, so this is the verification. If the ABS and the VSC light blinks, then the calibration is complete. Okay, afterwards, let's go ahead and do a key cycle. Turn it off and turn it back on. Let the vehicle perform its system check. You can see the VSC light turned off. No trouble codes were detected, meaning that the calibration was successfully performed. Okay, so now we are on our second vehicle. Okay, so this GS350 was experiencing the famous servo motor issue. Let's go ahead and click Auto Connect, see if this scan tool is capable of automatically connecting to the VIN. Okay, so that brings us to the vehicle information menu. Got to verify that all the information is correct. Just to verify that, go ahead and click OK. And then go ahead and click OK on the notice. Okay, now we can see that the vehicle is being scanned. Let's go ahead and wait till all that is completed. Okay, so that brings us to the health report. And while the scan tool performs the health check, I'll go ahead and I'll explain what I performed on this vehicle. I did went ahead and I did replace the servo motor due to the famous Lexus slash Toyota AC servo motor failures. And as you may know, once you replace the servo motor, you have to initialize them. So for those who have asked me, do I have to take it to the dealership to perform an initialization after I replace the servo motor? Well, we're gonna see if the scan tool is able to perform that initialization. So stay tuned. Okay, so these are the trouble codes that were recorded under the AC module. Go ahead and clear them since I already addressed the issue. Let's go perform our initialization. Bear with me, the scan tool is still new to me and I'm getting used to it. Go under the special functions, I believe it's gonna be under there. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so it took about a minute to load up all the special functions. And you can see here we have a list of special functions the scan tool can perform, which is pretty impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and click the air conditioning initialization learning. And that'll take you to your servo motor initialization. Go ahead and click that when you're ready. And it'll show you a steps to perform the initialization. Make sure you meet all the requirements and follow the steps carefully. Okay, so make sure your AC is off and the AC indication light is off as well. Once you hit OK, the initialization has begun. And it'll let you know that the DEF indicator lamp is off and the automatic indicator lamp is on. And then once that lamp goes out, the initialization is complete. So let's go ahead and verify that. Okay, initialization is complete. Okay, afterwards, make sure you have no trouble codes, no trouble codes detected. Another successful calibration with the scan tool. So overall, I would definitely recommend this scan tool for anybody working on Toyota or Lexus vehicles, whether it be your own or a customer's vehicle. This scan tool has got you covered to perform a lot of the functions the dealer has at a fraction of the price. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars for dealership scan tools. We were able to calibrate the yaw rate sensor on the LS430 and also initialize the servo motor on the GS350. There's a lot more functions that the scan tool can do. If you're curious on what it can do, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll verify that for you. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link for the scan tool down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.